I believe that we are live. Let's make sure that we are live here. So forgive me for that intrusion, but uh, no, I believe that we are live. Um, this is Chad Hymas coming to you from my office. Thank you all for joining us. I just wanted to share a couple of ideas uh, from you. Feel free to comment uh, from where you're coming in from. I would love to see and hear from you. We are live on Instagram. We are live on Facebook. We are live uh, um, on, on, on stream chat as well. And so coming to you from several different channels, just wanted to shoot you guys a few ideas with COVID-19 and some of the things that I've been thinking of and some of the things that I've been, been going through um, and, and some of the thoughts that have crossed my mind um, and, and finding gratitude. Can I just tell you that my cop out for the last several uh, years, 19 years, we just celebrated 19 years. Can you believe that? 19 years with me being in a wheelchair, and and that's not a bad thing. It's been a, a blessing, um, but 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 for those 19 years, my my scapegoat has been a hotel room. My my go to has been a, a, an aircraft or an airplane, you know, Delta. Uh, it's been a way for me to get away from from perhaps one of my greatest fears, and that is being confined, which was what we're all going through right now. We are all being confined to a, a, a place that we, we, we can't leave our homes and we have to take private walks and we have to social distance. And we're not, we're not social distancing creatures. We're, we are people that, that, that connect. We like to be engaged. We like to have family gatherings. We like to gather at church on, on Saturday or Sunday or go to mass if you're Catholic or gather together in our synagogue, uh, in our synagogues and, 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 and our hotel rooms when, when we, when we have meetings, we're, we're a social networking people, uh, for my high school students that are listening. Uh, God bless you guys being a senior in high school in the year 2020 lives upside down. So how do we, how do we find happiness? And, and I've got a, an idea or two. I, I have really struggled, you know, I, I know I said for better or for worse, when I got married to my wife, um, I sure as heck didn't plan on having her help me out. Now, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I can take care of most of my needs. I, I'd like to think that I can, I, um, uh, I can take care of a lot of my personal, uh, you know, day-to-day -day needs, brushing teeth, shaving, getting dressed and clothes like this. But my wife doesn't like me to do that because it takes me like two hours to get dressed. That's fine. I like it. I'm cool with it. But, but with that said, Shondell doesn't like me to do that. Um, thank you guys for joining us, Kurt and Brett. And thanks. And, and it looks like we got a, people, a lot of people coming online. Just, just, I really appreciate you guys just being part of my community. I, I need you guys. I, I don't care about how many likes or anything. I just, I like the wave. I like the thumbs up. It makes me feel good. So thanks for, for joining us. But back to this idea. I know I told Shondell for better or for worse. I sure as heck didn't plan on her helping me with my personal care, like cutting up my meals or get me dressed. I mean, she's nice about it. She'll ask me what I want to wear and then she puts on me whatever she wants. And so I have to deal with that. And thank, thank, thank the Lord above that she's willing to laugh when I shower. Cause if she's not cracking jokes, I'm going to start crying. So I got to have her make me laugh. Laughter is a great thing, but, but here's what I have found being at home the last 19 days. The first day was rough. I mean, it was rough. The second day was rougher. That first week, now we're on a day four, five, six, and seven. It was tough for me to be at home. And, and then I started to see uh, that it, it was because I was focused on myself. And I was focused on the fact that, hey, here I am. And the people that I love are taking care of me. And, and I, don't, I don't like that. But the truth is that they are, they're wanting to help me and, and, and I found my place. And it's not that I want to abuse their or misuse their service, but if they serve me, then maybe I can go out in my office or out on the ranch. And we're going to be posted a lot more out on the ranch because I've been able to spend more time here than ever before. That I can go out on the ranch and find a place to serve there. So my, my, mm, my one word of advice would be that for everything that's going on around us with COVID-19 and all the bad news and the tragedy that we're seeing, if there's one thing that I could give to you all today, it would be to have hope that tomorrow will be a better day and take it that, 
I know that it's cliche. I know it's a little niche, you know, a little niche, but uh, and it might even sound kind of trite, but that phrase "a day at a time" has saved has saved my life. Um, the last few weeks at home, as I have tried to show Shondell that I'm more grateful and to be more grateful, more has come to me in the process. We have been happier together. Um, We've read together. I don't think we ever have read together before. I mean, we've read together. And uh, today I, I was involved in a family devotional where we are, we're, we're, uh, we're skipping a few meals. And uh, there's been a request um, for the entire world, all four quarters of the earth, uh, today being Good Friday, for us to all pray and fast together as, a, as humanity to, to to ask for help from whoever you believe your creator is. Uh, and, who, you know, uh, Christians, they call him God. And, and people in Thailand call him Buddha. And, and people in the Muslim community call him Allah. I don't think that the creator is overly well with that. I just think he wants us to come together. And so I, I, I've been able to be involved with that. And I feel like I'm giving that, you know, and, and serving in that capacity. So I forgive me for rambling. I just... I wanted to come on live today to share with you what has helped me to take an experience of being isolated. And you'd think I'd had this mastered because I've been isolated in this wheelchair. And I, I, I know some of you can see this, but I've been in this chair for 19 years and I haven't, I don't mind it so much. But the reason why I don't mind it is because I'm focused on other people and I'm focused on hanging out with you guys. And so for me, it's just been an avenue to be able to communicate with people and and socialize with people and i realize for many of you it's your home alone and you're in your houses maybe use social media facetime text for me it's been just finding a way to to be grateful that 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 and this and, and to put good positive thoughts in my mind and that is not the news per se. Now, I'm not anti-news. I just know the first 25 minutes of a 30-minute news broadcast is all about how many people died today. I like the last five minutes where they show an inspirational story. And yesterday I saw that kid playing the trumpet at a veteran's hospital. Oh, my gosh. It melted, I mean, it melted my heart. And I've seen stories of many of you on online where you've done things for people that just it just melts me and makes me feel like hey there's so much more that i need to be thinking about rather than, than hey i wish i could go run away to a hotel room so my wife doesn't have to help me you know um so two things i guess from this. Let, let's wrap this thing up and let you guys get on with your day finding gratitude amidst covid 19 and and what are some of the ways that we can do that have hope that tomorrow can be a better day there's no such thing as false hope only false hopelessness because for everything that you and I know, there's so much more that we don't know and tomorrow will be a better day. Number two, do what so many other people are doing and that is find a place to give to somebody else. Now that doesn't mean you have to go and out and, and be engaged with people. Let's keep our, our distancing apart. I don't like the word social distancing because we're, we're, remember, we're not a social distancing people. We, we like to connect with people. Physical distancing, I'm cool with that. Um, differentiate, I'm cool with that. But but find a way to connect with somebody. Maybe that's social media. Maybe that is you drive by. I've seen some some things on social media where people for birthdays or missionaries coming home, they're honking or anniversaries or doing. People are just being creative, and that is way way cool to watch. So maybe we could do something along those lines. Um, so find a way to serve. And then the last thing I'll share, which I haven't brought up, uh, I would just like to extend an invitation to all of you. And I hope that I hope I can do this in the right way. Forgive me if it comes across wrong. I don't mean for that. But maybe you could join uh, our family this weekend um, and uh, just get on your knees and, and show gratitude. I, I, I'm not a preacher. Not a pastor. I'm not a bishop or a priest or anything like that. I, I don't have permission to do that. I don't have the authority to do that. I just, I just think we need help. And I, uh, I think that sometimes when we lose something like our freedoms, it makes us humble enough to ask for help in places that perhaps we otherwise haven't asked for help before. 
so I'm sorry about the emotions. I uh, I just find myself uh, needing help from something more than this world can provide. And if you find yourself in that spot and you feel so inclined, don't be afraid to ask for help. It's sure been a pleasure to visit with you guys today. God bless all of you. I, I uh, hope you enjoy this this Easter weekend with your families. And if you don't celebrate Easter, enjoy this weekend with your families as well. And thank you for allowing me to share a few ideas today. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay.